Hey, what's going on, everybody? So, I actually just finished up a video series, which is now called How to Escape a Judgment. It used to be called How to Get Judgments, How to Get Rid of Judgments Against You, right? So, I just finished that up, and I was thinking, this is something that could be applied to our Kelly situation. Now, it's too soon to start talking about R. Kelly losing this case. I'm not saying that he's going to lose, and I don't know the future. I can't predict what the outcome is going to be. But in my mind, I can only see three possible outcomes. And one is that he wins, which is hopefully something that happens for him. Two, that there is a stalemate, meaning that there's a hung jury or the prosecutors just decide to drop the case and then three he loses right now again i'm not saying the man is going to lose but it's one of the possible outcomes and for those that don't know my channel one of the things that i do on my channel is that i like to look at things from a different perspective than anyone else is looking at it from and I also like to talk about things that no one else is talking about on their channel. And one of the things that I believe nobody's talking about, or at least they're not talking about it from an intelligent uh, perspective, is what R. Kelly can do if he loses his case, right? You know, what are R. Kelly's options if he loses any of his cases, right? So everybody knows he has several different cases and different jurisdictions and after completing the video series how to escape a judgment against you i realized that this is something that r kelly can apply to any of his cases if he loses any one of them he can essentially take these steps now i'm going to admit that it's going to be slightly different depending on whether or not it's in federal court or state court but at the end of the day, generally speaking, it's all going to be the same. It's going to be different, but the same, right? And I say that not to be uh, facetious, but basically the particular procedure is going to be slightly different, or it's going to be different, but the goal or the overall structure is going to be the same if that makes sense, right? You know, so basically everybody knows that the state courts model most of the statutes after the federal courts and, or at least the civil rules of procedures, right? Are the state court civil rule procedures are modeled after the federal court. And I'm not going to get into all that. You, you really need to w go back and watch the video series, How to Escape a Judgment, if you haven't seen it already, because that's basically going to, be a precursor, if you will, or in lack of a better word, to this video. So let's just talk about R. Kelly and what he can do if he loses, right? You know, so a lot of people think that if you lose a case, you can just go directly and appeal. And you can probably do that. You can probably do that, but there's actually more cards to play, right? You know, so in my mind, if you lose your case, wouldn't you want to play all the cards possible so that you can get the maximum opportunity in terms of trying to, you know, get that case or get that judgment off you or, or find a way to have that judgment nullified, right? You know, so R. Kelly, if he loses, he actually has lots of cards to play. So for, for those of you that are R. Kelly supporters, you should basically look at this video and some of the other videos I, I've, I've made is the battle plan, R. Kelly's battle plan, right? Now, you, R. Kelly doesn't have to take the measures that I've outlined in the video series that I've done, like I've done one about the R. Kelly jury selection, and I'm doing this one now that's talking about, you know, what the options are if he loses, like, you don't really have to take my advice, but there's what I'm, I guess what I'm trying to say is that there's these stages in a court uh, proceeding, right? So it, it's, it's up to you, or it's up to R. Kelly and his lawyers to start thinking about what they're going to do 
in each stage. I, I know for those that are you that play chess, everybody knows that there's basically three major phases of a chess game. There's the opening or the beginning game. There's the middle game, and then there's also the end game, right? You know, so I think when it comes down to going to court, there's going to be something similar where you have the beginning, the middle, and the end, right? You know, so basically, instead of going straight to federal court, R. Kelly has the option of playing additional cards. And one of the cards that he can play is that he can just have that judgment basically overturned. And when I say overturn, I'm speaking generally. There's specific words that you can use or there's specific angles that can be played out in, you know, the courtroom. And if you want that, basically go and watch the other video series and it's going to break everything down. But for now, we're just going to say overturn, right? You know, so there are some specific things that he can do to have his judgment overturn if he loses. And basically, it doesn't really matter if he had a judge decide his case, and it really wouldn't matter if he had a jury decide his case. So in either situation, it may be slightly different on how he approaches getting his case overturned. So there's several cards that R. Kelly can play, and the first card that he can play has to be used within 28 days. And with this card, he can basically, and it doesn't matter if there was a jury or if there was a judge deciding this case, but this card, he can add additional testimony to his case. He can amend the, uh, the findings of facts and new conclusions of law can be made in his case. But the key to this first card is that it has to be played within 28 days, right? You know, so you may be thinking, what happens if his lawyers don't act fast enough? What happens if more time passes by? Uh, does he can he do anything else? Well, yeah, he has another card that he can play. So the second card that R. Kelly can play, if he loses, he can basically go back after 28 days and not more than a year to play this card, and he could possibly go back even after a year, possibly three, four years. It really just depends on the specific situation. But needless to say, he has additional time up to a year and possibly more. And you really have to go back and watch the other video series to understand what I mean when I say up to a year or possibly more than a year. It could be three, four years. But go back, watch that video, and it's basically called how to escape a judgment against you. And it explains on how he can basically come back uh, within a year or possibly three, four years. But essentially, he's going to come back or he would have the opportunity to come back for any reasons that justify relief. And this is kind of broad and it, it's really open, but it basically allows R. Kelly to come back and to try to get that judgment thrown out for any other reason. In addition to this, he can also go back to the judge to try to have this, this judgment against him overturned, and he can simply ask that the judgment be stayed or paused and give him some time to file another suit uh, to basically relieve himself of this judgment, right? And not only that, he can also ask the judge to just simply set the judgment aside because there was some type of intrinsic fraud uh, involved. Now, in order for him to ask for this, the, the prosecutors would have to do something fraudulent in this case. And if they do something fraudulent in this case, then he has the right to go back and ask the judge to basically uh, set this judgment aside. And separate from this, and I, I should have actually mentioned this earlier in the video, but if he finds that there was some type of fraud outside of the courtroom that basically was involved in getting this thing into the courtroom, he can basically uh, ask, but this has to be done within a year, he can basically ask the judge to basically throw this judgment out or overturn it, right? Everyone knows that this recent litigation was basically stirred up by Michael Avenatti. 
Now, here's the thing. Michael Avenatti was recently in, convicted. I'm sorry. He was recently convicted of fraud. So if this litigation was started or basically jump started by a man who was convicted of fraud, then it makes it reasonable that R. Kelly should have the opportunity to investigate the possibility that there's something fraudulent going on here. And it makes sense that, you know, this judgment would be set aside until that investigation is complete, right? So that's it for this video. So I basically just wanted to point out some basic cards that R. Kelly could play in the event that he loses. He doesn't necessarily have to go directly to appeals court to get relief. He could possibly get relief from a judgment against him way before he ends up going to appeals court. So leave your questions, comments below, and as usual, like, share, and subscribe.